Hey guys, I go 25. That was a 59. I mean, we're here today. The, we have the Power Rangers in space, the Digimorpher, aka the K Tizer from Danger Sentai Mega Ranger. It's a really, it's actually a really interesting phone. It's the first time we actually in Super Sentai or PR where we actually use a phone. And actually, it looks like a real phone too, which is really cool. This also started the trend where every series had to be, be using cell phones, unfortunately. And you know, it's it looks like a good actually back in the days this would actually look Well that was a state of the art phone design back in ninety seven. Yeah, this is actually a cool looking phone. So compared to a regular phone right now? It's the same size. Ironically, it's, yeah, they would say it's small. It's actually pretty good, you know. But um on off switch is right here. But first we'll open it up, we press the button. You remember guys, this thing actually does Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't open up on the back. All the codes are on the back of the uh, battery compartment, so you, you won't, you'll know which one goes. Unless unfortunately, you kill the sticker. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the same amount of codes and features from the uh, Astro Morpher. Now, just like the Astro Morpher, it, it does have that standby sound where it just beeps. In the earlier days, they did that on all the Morphers. Oh yeah, here's the, it's like, this is like the A and B bird mode. So what you do is press it. This toy is pretty loud. Now let's do only the other modes. A mode is press again. Two five nine. This summons his bike, aka the Cyber Slayer. Now we'll do the computer, one four eight. I think it's the scanning mode. Five zero six. This is the calling mode. This can be used as an alarm to wake you up in the morning. And then we have the final mode, which is one of my favorite modes. The theme song mode. Now, the funny thing about the Ketizer is that it has all the top nine buttons are all the same. One, four, and seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. They all say M, E, G, and then the zero is A for Mega. All right, so now alteration-wise. Um, Funny not, thing is, not that much was changed from the Digimorph to the K Tizer. The only difference is that they didn't have the Mega Light. It was just a sticker on screen Mega, and that's about it. I didn't get why they took it out because if it, there, I, when, I had actually repaired this one. We got it from CS Studios. It was damaged, unfortunately. And really, there was only really two, four LED lights in there. It was really what? It was it that expensive to keep it in there? Funny thing is, this toy was a ten dollar toy back in nineteen ninety seven, and now it's like a sixty dollar toy right now. And the Japanese version goes higher. Um. I will say that what's really, really interesting is that we kept all the sounds, we, we even kept the theme song. So back in the 1997, when kids did 730 and they played a song, they're like... It's not the In Space theme song, what it's the Mega the Ranger. What is this? This is the, actually Mega Ranger. Um, you know, it's a really nice, decent toy, of course. It doesn't have all the features, unfortunately, from the Astro Morpher. The Astro Morpher does have more features, including that game. The game. I mean, if they put a game in here, that would be like... Brilliant, but I guess but they probably couldn't fit it because of the theme song. Um, the theme song is pretty. It's the whole Mega Ranger theme song. So you hear it, the entire one minute thirty seconds of it. I mean, you could get if you really wanted this. 
the Silver Morpher for so the Silver Ranger. You could get the US one. There's really not much to complain. The only about. difference is if you don't mind about the, the lights. Whole, That's it. It's really the only thing. The everything else, ones. everything from sound effects to the, the mold itself, is all the same. It's completely unchanged, and we kept the theme song. That is the most craziest thing I've ever seen Bandai America do. And also, this was also re-released back in the Lost Galaxy line with the Silver Ranger figure later on. Yeah, same it was, thing. It was a reissue. Um, the Silver Ranger figure came in the Mega Ranger Megazord, and it included the Silver Ranger. The Silver Ranger talk, it will say Super Silver Ranger. And then in, uh, in the Lost Galaxy era, where we had the Power Playback era also, they re-released this with packaged with the Silver Ranger, just like the Dragon Dagger with the Green Automorph Ranger. And the re-released Turbo Morph. And also the re-released Space Blaster as well, but it was green instead. Get it? Definitely get this. Or the US really? one, either one. Ooh, it's really something to fun. And the whole MEG lights, it's awesome. But um, yeah, so uh, join us next week for the Power Engine Space the Mega Ring. Rate, come subscribe. We'll see you next week. Hey guys, it's Glue25. And Archer9234. In episode 59, we made you reveal today we have the Power Engines in Space Digimorph Ring, aka the K Tizer from Denji Sentai Mega Ranger. <laughs> I watched the Mega Ranger series just last week and I forgot. <laughs> and I'd like to thank CS Toys International and Mr. S for the K Tizer. They had this on the EB auction and I won this. And I'll put the link on the side, but on, we'll put the link of him packaging for us. Now, when Mr. S or CS Toys, when they when I bought it from them, they gave me the pamphlet. It features all the Rangers from all 35 Super Sentai series, back and front. Yeah, it's just a small pamphlet that came with it to, just to show off all the stuff from Go Kaiser.